Hello. Hi, Jill. How are you? Amazing. How are you? I'm amazing too. And you know my question? Yes. <laughs> what was the best part? Of it? What was the best part? Mm, yeah. Okay. So the best part is like. Mm, mm, mm. Best part was a uh, weekend. I mean, last two days, uh, Saturday and Sunday. But yeah, again, like we got, uh, okay. So yeah, uh, on Saturday, I went, uh, I went on trekking. Okay. With my friends and a group also. A, mm -hmm. uh, a, there is a group in Nagpur who like uh, host uh, trekking like every month or uh, once in two months. Mm -hmm. So I was a part of that trick this time and it was amazing. I had a great experience. Uh, so yeah, we got pictures today. We discuss about those things and we thank the team uh, who has arranged this uh, trick. So that was the uh, best part of the okay. day. Okay. And were you tired during the trek? Have you done treks before? Gone on treks before? <clears throat> Yes, I have done the tricks before, but this was this one was really difficult, and uh, like uh, I realized that how difficult trekking uh, can be because when we were you know coming up, first of all we uh, we like uh, went down, and then when we were coming up, it was very difficult. Uh, it was raining, and yeah, like everyone uh, needed support of each other to like come up okay. or to. <clears throat> climb the mountain okay i can imagine you dragging yourself <laughs> yes yes but it was awesome it was awesome when it was raining it felt like oh my god uh like this is the real trick i mean we we needed that uh, rain on that time because we all were sweaty and we were not able to climb mm -hmm. yes it seems like a lot of fun to, uh, a lot of fun, a lot of adventure, uh, so many experiences like uh, never imagined before. So mm -hmm. yes, it was worth trek. I mean, the best experience I ever have uh, of trekking. I've so, ever had of trekking. Ever have had? No, the best experience I've ever mm -hmm. had. Yeah, the best experience I ever had. Yes. yes. Correct. I have ever had. Okay. I have ever had. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very well. And uh, which is the next trek that you want to do? Would you like to go to a very cold place, snowy place? Yes. Like we are so excited and we are planning uh, for uh, like uh, Manali or maybe, yeah, Manali is the only thing only place sorry Manali is the only place we're thinking right now so let's see what will happen because I think we should not plan things uh, when <laughs> we plan, it won't work so mm -hmm. it's just in mind let's see when it will uh, execute yeah when you'll get the chance next okay uh, so what are the things about nature that you like the most everything like peace uh birds chirping wind rain mm -hmm. and that uh that smell that uh, ex uh that feeling mm -hmm. everything I like about nature and i think i was missing that uh ever since the pandemic has started and that's why i i get a chance and i just uh grab it i thought why miss it like we are getting it uh, ready in a plate. We just need to go and ha experience it. True. And I said, yeah. Okay, I got the chance and I grabbed it. First. I got the chance. Yeah, I got the chance and I grabbed it. Yes. Okay, very well. So do you uh, ever believe or do you ever consider thinking about the elements of nature? Okay, uh, so like water, air absolutely yeah i mean yes it plays a very important role and every element has its own importance its own speciality and i think we are incomplete or our life is incomplete without like without any of the element without mm -hmm. any element because every 
every element uh, plays a very important role in our uh, in our life correct and what are the elements that you witnessed in your trek mm, water like rain mm-hmm. air wind mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. of course like fire we had a bonfire also in the Amazing. night in beautiful okay yeah fire and uh, yeah these are the things uh, i have experience while trekking and which do you connect to the most when you see you really feel different because each element makes you feel different so which do you personally connect to the most uh i think water water yeah okay why as as i have mentioned like we were trekking but when it started raining i felt like oh wow relax that was the only thing i was missing like uh, that that rain made uh, our trek so beautiful and when it was raining everything was so peaceful so beautiful and yeah we were feeling awesome that time that's what i can say now okay and when it comes to your personality which element do you think you connect to mm-hmm. okay so i'm not calm so i cannot <laughs> i can say um wind or air okay why I because i am always like um uh, i'm always running behind something and that's why maybe uh, wind is always moving and maybe that's why i'm saying this like from this to that or or like wherever we are uh, we go we get wind or we get air or mm-hmm. without air it is impossible to live or it is impossible mm-hmm. to survive maybe that right. it is uh-huh. not like i'm giving too much importance to myself it is just that i am like because i am not fire mm-hmm. uh, because if i say fire you would like oh that's why <laughs> fire i'm not calm and peaceful so i cannot say water also because water flows smoothly right mm-hmm. i said air maybe no i like your explanation about air i think it's it's very nice that you like to just move from one place to the other uh and yeah you are liked by everybody so it's a good thing yes <laughs> okay um, what if i ask you the same question <laughs> me i'm i i think i'm like like water uh, okay. I, and i love water the most like like the most but i'm afraid of it the irony yeah i mean a lot of people when you don't know swimming specially <laughs> do you know swimming <laughs> i don't i don't that's why i'm afraid and i told you before right of all the animals i'm like scared of everything in the world so yeah <laughs> okay but yeah just so uh, but i read a lot about all these zodiac signs and water and um oh your zodiac is this your zodiac signs element is this do you read all of that uh no i don't because uh, i i feel it's 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 confusing and i'm a kind of person if i read something it it keeps uh, going in my mind for long <laughs> and uh, that disturbs me from doing anything else and that's why i don't oh then i do not recommend this to you and i don't want to fall in trouble <laughs> yes 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 okay um how do you think the elements are interrelated mm, i think when it's uh, okay so the wind is very high or how can i say i think much. no like like for example fire requires air yeah fire requires air and uh, water think, also has air in it i think water also require uh, requires air or without like first it's um a lot of storm or something and then uh, yeah rain. something like that so i don't really know the correlation between all the elements because uh, i don't know if it's like scientific scientific or or like in what aspect but since they are elements of nature i think they must have some sort of chemistry among them right yes, uh, yes. like like a sink just for them to be 
Yeah. Okay. Do you think that we can survive uh, without any of these elements, any of them? Oh, uh, I don't think, as I have already mentioned, that each element has its own importance and its uh, own requirement. Like we cannot live without any of the uh, element. But mm -hmm. when it's compulsory to like imagine if we can live without any one of the element, then I can say or I can imagine living without fire maybe because fire because I think that we have invented fire right so and after some time maybe uh, we discovered time, fire yeah yeah we discovered fire I'm sorry we discovered fire and and that's why I think without fire also we have survived so maybe no it's it's of course difficult it's not possible but as an optional, I can say that yeah, without yeah. fire. Yeah. With the amount of pizzas I eat, I think for me, it'll be impossible to survive without fire. I will need to cook. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so what if we were to go on some other planet? Do you think we can survive then? Do we need these elements or the environment there will be different? What do you think? No, I think wherever you go, you will need these elements. These are very compulsory. How can you live without air, without water and without mm -hmm. food? And for food, we need fire. Mm -hmm. But first of all, I really want to ask, am I like uh, telling these elements correct? Is the, Am I missing something? Uh, yeah, so what happens is different places have different kinds of elements okay so air water fire earth is like the four major elements but some people also add space some people also add like some people say there are seven elements some people say there are more than that but the main four are like earth air water fire okay okay earth is Okay. Yeah, but space is also added a lot of times, as far as I have heard. Okay. And, and they actually do a lot of things. They say that even in our body, we have like all, we are made up of all the elements or the five elements. 70% water, 10% earth, like all of okay. those. So it might be true. I, I don't know. I think it can be true that we are made up of all these elements. Yes, it is. I also think that we are made up of all the, like, it's a combination of all the elements, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, um, what are the things that we must be taught in school, but we aren't? Mm, we have thought in school, but we aren't. Thought instead of thought. Thought. Okay. 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 But that doesn't exist or that is not true. No, that, but that's not taught to us. Like, for example, we are not taught gardening, right? But it's an important uh, thing in our life. We have not taught cooking, but it's very important in our life. So something in school that you wanted to learn, but you weren't taught or these days kids are, haven't uh, been learning. Okay, yeah, interesting. Um, so what should have been taught in school is um do you wish like you humanity? should have learned cooking yeah yeah correct yeah i wish i mean it's not like like that i could have learned in in the school days but i think that they should have uh taught us that uh, how cooking is important for everyone not just for girls and not just for your mothers like cooking is really very important and everyone should know how to cook so that uh once you once you have grown up you should not tell other that i'm a boy or uh, i don't know cooking my mm -hmm. mother cooks for me my sister cooks for me i think everyone should uh, responsible and everyone should understand that you uh, you have to know how to cook for yourself so that you should not depend on anyone else. That's okay. what I think. Okay. I think. So you can say that cooking is a basic life skill and should be taught to both the genders equally. Okay, that's all. So it means that equally, we, we all need to learn because it is so 
essential it's when we say it's a life skill it shows yeah. that it's it's very important it is irrespective of for whom it is it is a basic life skill hmm. okay yeah okay okay um what is the most admirable part of human nature mm-hmm. admirable part i think a uh, human uh, understand each other well that's the best thing or or, or the help each other mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's what i think the best thing about human uh, is understanding is, is not a language and we cannot say we, we can speak that's why we understand each other sometimes mm-hmm. without speaking also uh, we can understand each other and yeah that that's the thing yes mm-hmm. okay um yeah i also noticed that in your in the previous uh, question you answered humanity i think that's a good answer we we should focus more on uh, values that are uh, uh, imparted uh, to all of us yeah it's a good answer i'm sorry i didn't hear it no it's fine okay um according to you how do you deal with stress how what are the different ways in which people deal should can deal with stress 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 right yes okay so the stress when you are stressed because of something i think you should uh, stop doing these things or you should keep yourself away from those things for some time mm-hmm. take a break give mm-hmm. time to yourself mm-hmm. i think t- taking a break is the best therapy uh, mm-hmm. for anything whether it is stress or depression or mm-hmm. taking a break and change in your life mm-hmm. when you change when you uh, feel some change in your life you automatically feel calm and um, calm and cool and feel happy i think changes makes you happy at least for me changes makes me happy so i think it 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 could work for everyone mm-hmm. changes and break and uh, uh be around or be around being around people yeah being around uh, people uh, who who like care for you or who are important in your life or who makes you feel important at least mm-hmm. being around those people yeah. so these are the things uh, which will help you uh, to which will help you stress to relax free. yeah to to relax or which will help you to be stress free yes which will help you de stress which will help you uh, to be stress free which will help you relax okay yeah okay very well yeah i agree what do you personally do i know that you went on a trek so traveling can be one of your way Uh, what yeah. are the other things that you do do you like to meet your friends as you mentioned or are there any other activities like dancing or something that you really enjoy not every time meeting friends makes me happy because i am a kind of person who listen to everyone but do whatever i want to do so i think meeting friends would not help me all the time mm-hmm. it also depends on the situation if i'm confused i need some advice then i would choose to meet friends otherwise not Mm-hmm. uh what i would prefer is i would like to be alone mm-hmm. that's the first thing when i'm stressed or when i am irritated mm-hmm. i feel like i want to be alone for some time i take my time i think about things uh i try to like uh i try to figure out what are the advantages and disadvantages of my decision and then i i, I act accordingly second thing i would do is i like dancing so i try to like uh learn few steps so that makes me happy okay okay i uh, dancing i did know that uh, you would like have have it as one of your ways because i know before you mentioned that you just like yes. to go and let yourself free let yourself out i think it's a great activity a good form of exercising also <laughs> yes it, it makes your uh, mind and body uh, both stable or happy or yeah it helps fit keeps your mind and body fit fit oh yeah okay very well uh and how about eating don't you like to eat i know a lot of people who like to eat tasty food when they're stressed out you know 
Okay. No, I like I have uh, I'm very different. Uh, I cannot eat when I am stressed and when I'm happy. Uh, oh. In these two situations, I cannot eat. Maybe out of excitement, I cannot eat, and maybe out of uh, stress or tension, I cannot eat. Really, I know it's usually the opposite. opposite. <laughs> okay, so you you eat a lot when you are stressed and when you are excited. Well, I eat irrespective. I will eat even if I'm not stressed the same, and even if I am stressed the same. But I know people who eat more when they're stressed. So yes, yeah, I, like. But, even, yeah, yeah uh, on clapping no, no. i had asked someone he said that uh, if i'm stressed i just eat my favorite food i'm like okay great <laughs> wow that's the best thing you eat your favorite food and you're stressed free that's the one okay how would you spend your day if you woke up one day um knowing that all your problems are solved no problems <laughs> okay. how will you spend your day I think I would not ask for that day because if all the problems are are solved, what would I do? I mean, <laughs> I think uh, dealing with the problems or finding out uh, solutions is the best thing or is the uh, motive in life. Otherwise, what would I do? I would just wake up. I would take my phone. I would maybe turn on uh, or switch on the TV. I mm-hmm. would watch Netflix and all and all. Otherwise, I would go somewhere. I would have fun. And those are the things. Maybe for some time I would feel good, but then uh, maybe I would feel that oh my god, I am just wasting my time or I am not doing anything productive. So I'm not sure, but yeah, that's how I would spend my day. If hmm. if if my if my all the problems are solved one day. If all my problems are solved one day. If all my problems are solved one day, yeah. Okay. Okay, very well. So you can also say that I really like challenges. Uh, mm-hmm. It gets me going. Okay. Okay. It okay. gets me going. Yeah. It means this that basically it keeps you on track in life and help keeps you motivated to do something. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So a few errors. Um, yes. I'm someone who listens to everyone. I'm someone who listens. to everyone but does what I, but i do what i feel like okay so these kind of errors where that one word something will be there or you will miss out on it as i've mentioned before try to check the sentences okay, okay. i'm someone who listens to everyone yeah instead of i'm someone who listens to everyone no i'm someone who listens to everyone okay 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 if if it was there are people who listen to everyone if it was plural yes absolutely yes okay so errors and could you pronounce stress 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 correct so check your pronunciation of stress and feel 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 okay feel okay. and feel yeah so again you know in these the that the, um this and these the way i mentioned last time uh, yeah. even this feel sometimes becomes like fill i i feel when you're speaking fast it comes like i i feel this okay so it has to be i feel this okay so f double e l should be uh, like feel i yeah. i should feel the word okay you should You should. That's how. You, that's how you know when you live each word, your pronunciation becomes really good. Even stress, you say it very fast. Stress. When I'm stressed out, do you see how stressful the word is? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, each word does have its own underlying emotion. If you thoroughly look at it, um, if you see some words of like excitement and happiness, they have a lot of. Double S, double P, double w- letters in them. Yeah. Okay. So try to go slow with something related to sentiment, so the other person gets those easily. Yes, I. Yeah. It it looks expressive. Yes. Yes. Okay. So so just that. Otherwise, there's not pro- there's not a problem in the way you express things or something like that. It's it's good. It's just sometimes you get confused in these. 
and yeah. uh, now you need to know alternate ways of saying things as i keep stressing upon it like probably sometimes how to say concise things in three lines how can you say something sometimes yes. how can you elaborate in detail about what you're saying yeah i think i think uh, i should go through all the uh, past videos video recordings and i think we uh, talked about it a lot so yes yeah. i would practice this now like how yeah. to say things alternatively yeah yes. just try a simple thing whenever you are expressing something just try to say how you could say something in a concise manner and how you can say something in a very elaborate manner 